What's up YouTube, my name's Will, welcome back to my Get Ripped for Summer series. In today's episode, I'm going to be giving you guys a home upper body workout. Will it well? So guys, if this is the first time you're seeing a video from me, don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you keep up to date with any future uploads. And without further ado, let's get into it. So in this upper body workout that you can do in the comfort of your own home, we're going to be hitting tries, we're going to be hitting chest, we're going to be hitting shoulders, we're going to be hitting abs, and we're also going to be hitting back and biceps. So how this is going to work is this going to work in reps and sets. So we're going to do 10 to 15 reps of each exercise and we're going to do the whole circuit for three sets. And what this will do is this will make sure that you're building muscle and burning fat and getting your cardio in all at the same time. So, the first exercise we've got is we have got American kettlebell swings. This is for your shoulders. What you want to do is you want to pick the kettlebell up as if you're doing a deadlift. And from this position, swing the kettlebell, squeeze your glutes together, and then use your shoulders to bring the kettlebell up over your head. Let's go. Here we go. It's going to be for back. We're going to do bent over kettlebell rows. So all you want to do is get your kettlebell to the side like this. Back straight, slight flex in your knees. Pick the kettlebell up this position. And from this position, you're just going to bring your elbow back. You want to feel like you're leading the, el uh, the movement with your elbow until your arm is at 90 degrees like this and then lower back down. Also, indirectly you will be doing your biceps as well because of the bend in the elbow. It's quite hard to target biceps at home without any equipment, so that's why I've not got a separate exercise for them. If you guys know of any body weight, zero equipment bicep exercises, then definitely let me know in the comments because I would love to try them out. And we're gonna do this exercise for 10 repetitions. <laughs> Remember that you gotta do both sides, we're not doing unilateral training, we're training both sides equally. And also remember that when you're doing it, you wanna keep your elbow into your body, you don't wanna flare it out like this. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to hit chest, we're going to do some push ups. So, if this is your complete beginner, you've never done push ups before in your life, I would suggest doing push-ups on your knees, like this, just make sure that your core's engaged, everything's in line, before you go down, back up, then we can hit regular push-ups for those who are strong enough, just like that, and 
If you're a more advanced or intermediate sort of level, then we're gonna go for diamond push-ups. We're gonna do this for 15 reps. Let's go. we have abs so what I'm gonna do for abs I'm gonna do flutter kicks how you want to get into position sit on the floor like this hands just underneath here get into a hollow body position so your shoulders should be roughly six inches off the ground so should your heels and then what we're gonna do make sure you toes are pointed as well core engaged we're gonna do Flutter kicks like this. And what I am classing as one rep for a flutter kick is up, up, that's one. So we're gonna go for 10. Let's go. Okay, so those are the exercises explained. That is one full circuit. So what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna go through do the other two circuits and the rest period that I'm suggesting for this is probably about 10 to 20 seconds in between each exercise depending on your fitness level you'll have to decide for yourself if you need longer than that then take it but try to keep the rest time as low as possible so that you make sure you're burning the most calories that you're getting your cardio in as well and you'll get the maximum benefit from this workout all right let's do it my home upper body workout using calisthenics so own body weight and a kettlebell as you can see it is pretty tough I am out of breath make sure like I said before keep the rest periods as short as you can that way you're keeping your heart rate up so it's cardio you're burning fat and you're building muscle all in the same time all in one workout you want to do this workout routine three times a week, so I'd recommend Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That way you will see the maximum results. If you like this workout, then make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Like I said at the start of the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my content. And if you haven't purchased yourself a Zenith Core T yet, I don't know what you're doing with your life, the link will be in the description. Go there now, buy one of these teas, use my discount code, WILL10, 
save yourself 10% and get yourself looking awesome in the gym or at home, wherever you want to work out. Thank you very much for watching guys. See you in the next one. Here we go. Yeah.